Bonnie Tyler and I'm going to be on France 24. I'm going to be talking about my brand new album, The Best Is Yet To Come. She has one of the most distinctive voices in the world. With adored songs like Total Eclipse of the Heart, It's a Heartache, Lost in France, and I Need a Hero. She's been performing for more than 50 years. Her new album is called The Best Is Yet To Come. Bonnie Tyler, hello. Thank you, and it's great to be there with you. <laughs> <laughs> you look so glamorous and you're in lockdown in Portugal. Yes, I am. I came for a week in between touring with my band and uh, I think because I had a week off and I've been here for a year now. Oh, you must be really missing your family and friends. I got a fantastically close family, you know. We speak all the time, you know, on the phone and, you know, but... Uh, Oh, it's not the same as we all know. We're all in the same boat. Your new album was due out this time last year. The best is yet to come. Yeah. It's your 18th studio album. What can you tell us about it? Well, it's like a throwback to the 80s. It's a very uplifting album. It'll put a smile on people's faces. I have fantastic songs on there that are... Um, one is written by Desmond Child. Uh, who is like, you know, an amazing songwriter. He writes for John Bon Jovi and Aerosmith. These days, you know, records, they, they don't really, you know, make any money or anything like that. But I do it because I'm passionate about music and it keeps my live shows fresh and exciting, you know? So that's why I do it. Well, let's have a listen to one of the tracks. This is When the Lights Go Down. Oh, I love it. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie, you have been on tour all of your life, nearly, since the age of 17. 79 shows were cancelled because of COVID. Not cancelled. 79 shows were postponed from 2020 into 2021, and 38 of them are in 2022. So I'm going to be in France in February next year. Uh, I'm going to Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Belgium, loads of places. And you've been really missing um, your fans and your band and your crew over oh, the past Oh, I've been year. itching to get back out there. But my batteries are all charged now after 10 months. I'm, I'm ready to rock that stage. I think we're ready for you to rock that stage too. You know, the last time I was in uh, France, I was in the Olympia. Oh, it was amazing. Well, like, you know, uh, the audience, it was sold out and it was a wonderful audience. It was so exciting to be on that stage, you know, where all the greats have been, you know. And Bonnie, you're going to be 70 this year. You have <laughs> announced um, the European tour, well, the European tour that was postponed with 38 dates. Do you have a favourite place to perform? Any stage is just awesome. <laughs> Audiences are basically the same all over the world. They just get involved with my music, sing along with me, which I love, you know, and uh, it, it's, it's, oh, it's good fun. Can you imagine your first time on, back on stage, how amazing that's going to be? Oh, I think there'll be like tears flowing uh, in, of joy though, you know, it, it's going to be an, it's going to be amazing, absolutely amazing. And what's really impressive is during this time, you still have been working. You recently joined TikTok and posted two total eclipse of the heart videos, which users can create their own duet with you. That's right, I've done two versions of it. I sing uh, in one, the turnarounds, and then people can sing with me, you know. I go, turn around, and they, they can join in. And then I've done another one where they can sing the turnarounds, 
I uh, do the verses, you know. Well, they've generated already thousands of views. Let's take a look at some of them. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you never come around. Turn around. Every now and again I win the 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 of all the years have gone by Every now and then I get a little bit terrified but then I see the look in your eyes Every now and then I fall apart Thank you so much for doing this, it's cool. What's so amazing about the song is that it was recorded in the 80s and everyone still loves it. We saw their younger know. generations singing along. One Direction did a cover. Can you remember when you first sang it? Did you know how amazing it was? Yeah. Um, I was in New York and Jim Steinman was playing it by the piano. You don't get a demo with Jim Steinman. You, you, do, you learn it by the piano, you know, but I don't read music. So uh, Rory Dodd sang it all the way through. I was just looking at the lyrics with my then manager and we were like, we were both like, wow, this song is amazing, you know. I couldn't believe that I it, I was having it, you know. And the most incredible thing is your music seems to be timeless. Many of your fans weren't even born when those songs came out. And some of them have sent their questions for you. So we're going to have a listen to some fan questions now. So okay. first of all, this is Jordan from Liverpool. Hello, Bonnie Tyler. I wanted to thank you for your new album, The Best Is Yet To Come. It's absolutely fantastic. And um, I've been working on the front line for the last year in all this COVID horror and crisis. And it's been taking its toll mentally and physically. And hearing your new album really gives me some upliftment and hope and um ready for better times to come and I'm hoping to see one of your live performances in the future. I really enjoy your version of the wild side of life. I think it's fantastic and a brilliant cover version of that song. And um, what are your thoughts on your early recordings? Do you listen back to them much? Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. And yeah, this new album is very uplifting, isn't it? I'm glad it's uplifted you. And uh... I hope you do come and see us live and make yourself known if you do. But uh, yeah, no, I don't listen to my old, <laughs> my old songs. Um, but I remember doing that one. I never thought I'd get a recording deal or anything. I was just enjoying singing in a band, you know. I got discovered by accident. A talent scout came to Wales. And um, so I was invited to London to make some demos which was very exciting. So yes, I did enjoy that time. And uh, Lost in France was my very first hit, hit record when I was 26. It's a Heartache was my first uh, American hit record. And that was really great fun to be over there, you know. And uh, it's, been, it's been a wonderful journey. And um, he looks like a young Paul McCartney, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. <laughs> okay, well, that'll make him happy. Okay, I've got another question for you. This is Tim in France. Hi, Bonnie. It's Tim. I live in France in Saumur, which is a very good place for red wine. I know you love it. <laughs> yeah. My question is, have you thought about the new songs that will be on your next shows? I think the best is yet to come would be a perfect start for a concert, wouldn't it? I can't wait to see you. I have 10 shows booked in France and Germany in 2022. Thank you so much for the wonderful album. It's an incredible gift for us. Bye from Tim. Oh, thank you, Tim. And yeah, that's a good idea to start with. The best is yet to come because the show is going to be, oh, wow, one and a half hours of oh, really, you know, fun and rock. I can't wait to rock that stage. But I definitely will be doing um, my classic songs and, but I will be putting definitely when the lights go down, the best is yet to come, stuck to my guns. Um, oh, there's so many good songs on there that I love. Okay, next one. This is Jack from Paris. Hi, Bonnie. Um, I'm a big fan. I was just wondering uh, what it was like to record the French version of Total Eclipse of the Heart with um, Karin and Antoine, what that experience was like. Thanks. When I was first asked um, 
would I like to do a duet, you know, with Karine Anton, a bit of my uh, wonderful song, Total Eclipse of the Heart. Uh, I was a little bit wary because I, I didn't know Karine then. So I said, well, send me um, a CD of her voice and um, see, see if I like her, you know. And they sent me a CD and I thought she was wonderful. So uh, we went into the studio and we, we got on very, very well, uh, which is very important if you're doing a duet with someone. The first copy of it that, that went to the DJs on the radio station, you know, the sample ones, um, they said, wow, we can't wait for this to come out. So they put, pulled the date of the release date much quicker than it was planned to come out. And everybody played it and it went to number one for 12 weeks running. We couldn't believe it. And Karine, if you're, um, if you're uh, looking, darling, it's, it'd be lovely to see you again. And Bonnie, just before we go, we are the news channel France 24. So I was wondering, could you sing us a few lines of Lost in France? As I stood there in the morning rain, I had a feeling I can't explain. I was lost in France, in love. Yeah. What an honour. Thank you so much, Bonnie Tyler. It's been a joy to chat. The album, The Best Is Yet To Come, is out now. Thank you so much for joining us. Liberté, égalité, actualité.